Isabel. And I'm Gavin. And we are Weekly Wolf. Lots of new series and movies are hitting streaming services this month. Let's go talk about that. Thanks, guys. Streaming services such as Disney Plus and Netflix have been releasing some new movies for us to watch at home. On August 28th, Disney Plus released Phineas and Ferb, Candace Against the Universe. This movie brought nostalgia to some original fans and attracted new generations to the franchise. On last Friday, Disney Plus released the new live-action Mulan movie as a premier access movie. Subscribers can pay $32.99 to watch this movie and can watch it as long as they stay subscribed to Disney+. Plus. They will most likely add other movies to the Premier Access, but for now it'll just be used for Milan. They also added the musical The Greatest Showman on August 14th, and today they will be adding Christopher Robin, a part of the Winnie the Pooh franchise. The series Once Upon a Time will also be coming on September 18th. Netflix kept up with Disney Plus by adding 47 new titles to their platform on the 1st of September. Some popular titles that have been added include The Smurfs, Muppets Most Wanted, the Back to the Future trilogy, the musical Grease, and an interactive special called Boss Baby Get That Baby. In addition, Netflix is also putting How to Train Your Dragons 2 to on their platform today, and they will be putting Smurfs 2 on September 15th. All of these amazing family movies will hopefully keep us entertained until we get to go out to watch movies again. Back to you guys! Thanks, Benita. Yeah, can't wait to see some of those. Anyway, let's go check out our weather with Madison. This week was very rainy and cold. Next week, the lows are supposed to be in the low 60s and high 80s. We thought it was supposed to be getting cooler, but next week, temperatures are supposed to be rising. Back to you guys. Thanks for the weather, Madison. It's going to be, unfortunately, another hot week. Anyway, I believe we have a food of the month. Nom nom. Yes. Wonder what Let's that's... go see with Vivian. The food of the month is the egg. Eggs are a duo. They are the everlasting question of what comes first. They are unused, unsoiled, additives needed to make it come to its full potential. They have many forms, the scrambled, the fried, the omelet, all are their own. All can be changed, all can be bent to a consumer's will. Two, a perfect amount of eggs for a serving to your own. There are always a use for eggs. They can be sweet like candy, smooth like butter, savory like meat, or spicy like the habanero. All come from one thing, and all have their own unique flavor to their own. They need salt to enhance the delicate balance of flavor in this natural creation. They have no real flavor of their own. Friends are needed to make this food whole, just like us. Alone, they are broken and sad, but together, they make a beautiful flower of flavors. Egg is love, egg is love. Thanks, Vivian. Yeah, eggs are truly amazing, especially when they're in a cake. Speaking of eggs, I believe we have a little story about an egg. Let's go see what's up. Oh no, this poor bird. It seems like it's dead. That is terrible. It's okay, bird. I, Swaggy G the princess, will protect this poor baby here. What's this? Seems pretty magical. And you'll be very pretty one day. Very pretty. Excuse me. What? I need that egg of yours. Why? Do you not realize what kind of egg that is? How much power it oh. can get in your eyes eat it? Well, yeah, it's kind of a magical egg. It had it on the back. I wonder why. Well, yeah, I guess it's magical, right? I need the egg in one way or another. I'm getting it. But this is my egg. I found it first. And, and? I'm going to help it survive. Because 
It's very pretty, and its bird form will be even pretty. You really think that matters to me? Probably not, but Give it I'm going to keep it safe. <laughs> you won't let me steal it. No, I won't. Come this way, it's the fastest way to the pedestal of power. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. Don't trust the spider, he's working for the witch. No, the mouse is lying. No, he's lying. I don't know who to trust. I am going to trust the mouse, he's cuddling. I'm in cheer for school and then I'm in competitive dance for after school. And why did you choose these? Um, I chose competitive dance because I've been doing it for years, I guess. And then I chose cheer because it can help me with my flexibility for dance. Um, because I, I like archery, it's just been fun for me. Because you take a racket and someone throws a ball and you need to hit it. Well, we're not really doing robotics yet, but in cheer we're learning a learning cool things like lifting people yeah um why did you want to join these clubs uh well i've, I've done robotics for a few years so i kind of knew what i was expecting uh cheer seemed like something fun to join and uh pe is just just pe uh i don't know i have not been in my retreat i said it's fun because at home i just go get bows from walmart and areas and start shooting targets for cheer, we are cheering and, and performing at um, events for school. And then for competitive dance, I mean, we're competing, so. Charlie, those activities sound really fun. They do. Sadly, I don't think we have all the time for today. See you next time on Weekly Wolf.